Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Don of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of Microsoft Surface Go 3 Tips and Tricks video and I'll talk about how to install eSIM or electronic or embedded SIM on your Microsoft Go. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support on this hybrid channel. I'm always trying new and different ideas to take you beyond boundaries. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel for you. If you're looking for more tips and tricks videos, there will be links in the description box below. So Microsoft uh, Surface Go and many other Windows laptops uh, come with uh, the option to insert an either electronic or physical SIM. And today I'm going to show you A to Z how to insert an electronic SIM or eSIM on your Windows laptop. I'm working with the Microsoft Surface Go but uh, you know it should apply to any laptop so you can follow the same steps for any laptop which has the ability to uh, insert a SIM card or electronic SIM card so uh, this should you know uh, work the same way. Before I start I'd like to clarify a few things so this is not a rehearsed video uh, what it means that I haven't tried or tested this before whether it works or it is going to work so I'm just going to show you my first initial reactions so if it doesn't it may or may not work but I'm expecting it to work and also the SIM card provider or eSIM provider I'm going to be using is called AirAllo which I have it up uh, right here but there are many other providers and you can use either one of them but uh, regardless, uh, whoever you uh, use, uh, my suggestion would be is to check that you know who's giving the best rates and uh, like you know if they're a really good provider, because some of them uh, they would just like you know take you money and it actually wouldn't work. But I have tested and uh, uh, used ARLO in a few countries and it always worked. And by far, I think this is the cheapest uh, and uh, one of the best. Uh, quality eSIM providers on the market but I'm not affiliated with uh, ARLO or I'm not affiliated with anything so what you are seeing is going to be totally honest and unbiased opinion and another thing I'd like to mention that when you go to Windows uh, eSIM uh, or SIM card installation screen I noticed that uh, Windows has some providers already installed there and you can just very quickly like you know go to online using those but the problem with that is that uh, they are actually affiliated with Windows and their rates are horrible you know uh, their rates are very bad so I don't recommend uh, using them unless you find them giving you a lower rate than this, than any specific country you're visiting so always check before you install or start using anything so the first thing I have to do or uh, we're going to do here is that I'm going to buy a sim card uh, for Canada because right now I'm in Canada so once you open the ARLO then I'm just going to click on Canada and as a matter of fact I'm buying this sim card only to uh, for this video and only to show you guys so I'm just going to go with the lowest one which is one gig uh, six US dollars but you can see that they have other plans for example they have like two gig for uh, eleven dollars or three gig for um, fifteen and many other like you know plans but let's go with the lowest one so I'm going to click here by now and let's see what happens Okay, so it's just giving the information, the coverage, the data, the validity, seven days, and it has the US dollars buy now. So I'm just going to click here, uh, buy now, and then it's going to uh, the checkout. Uh, let's see what we have here. So they just sent a message. Uh, I'm not going to go there for now. So I think it's just asking me to pay. So what happened? I already uh, installed uh, or connected uh, with my Google Play. So all I have to do is very easy to like you know pay. So I'm just going to here by completing this order, click or check, and before completing, please confirm your device is eSIM compatible. Uh, yes, uh, and although we are not buying for this phone, we are buying for the uh, laptop. So I'm just click here, and what happens is going to send you a uh, receipt or a screenshot of the eSIM, and you have to kind of scan it here on the device you're going to be installing but if it doesn't give you the option then you're going to have to enter the code manually but we're going to see what happens uh, here so let's uh, click here pay and I think it's going to ask me to input some kind of password or something we'll just wait and see what happens so you can see that you know it's uh, telling me to choose the credit card because I have more than one credit card connected to my uh, account so I'm just going to hit uh, continue with the American Express so let's say continue and it's just you know doing the work so it should give me a message uh, within a second uh, that uh, it has uh, uh, gone through so we'll just wait 
and looks like the uh, uh, receipt is being generated. So you can see that it has my email address right here, and it has the order ID which is right here. And then I'm going to have to like you know check my email to get the confirmation. That's where I should see the like you know receipt or the eSIM card. Uh, screen print uh, I need to scan so let's go to my email and we're going to look for that so you can see that you know we have uh, a receipt and I'm just going to click on that and it's also going to give you some instructions here in the email uh, so let's take a look here so you can see that it's uh, giving you that uh, install eSIM and I'm just going to go see what else we have here okay so I'm just going to click here install eSIM and let's see what happens here so it's going to take me to the phone page and it's just going to like you know it's just giving you the installation number or installation guide and I'm just going to not install here so what I can do let's see show more and if I can see anything here so it's just giving you more information uh, which I don't need and here I'm looking for some sort of uh, like a number or QR code so let's see if I can get some okay so I see the number has been copied okay so I don't think it's giving you that option here so I'm just going to click here hopefully it doesn't start to install on this phone because I don't want that so let's see what happened okay so this is what I was looking for uh, the QR code okay so now I'm just going to go to my surface go laptop and this can be any laptop and here you're going to search for sim so if you click on the search button and enter um, s i m oops enter s i m then you see you're getting the cellular settings which is right here so I'm just going to click here and see what I get and that should take us to the page where you're going to be install your sim so now you can see that cellular turned off uh, and meter connection off data roaming option uh, okay so it looks like we have everything here so now I'm just going to going to eSIM profile which is right here so I'm just going to click here and see this is the section you're looking for okay add an eSIM profile from your mobile operator and sign in requirement eSIM properties okay okay so these I'm just going to click here add profile and see what I get so here you're getting the message that how do you want to add new profile search for available profile let me enter an activation code I have from my mobile operator so this is what I'm going to choose uh, this is what we'll choose and then next so you can see that it's giving two options either you can scan or you can activation code so I'm just going to choose a scan uh, just this one and let's see what we get okay I don't I'm not sure if it's working I don't see anything is happening here so it could be the camera cannot scan so let's just wait a few more seconds so somehow you know it's not scanning I'll, I'll just like you know put it back a little away and see if it can read it okay and get it closer closer okay still it's not scanning okay I'm just going to take it m more closer so let's see what happens here it doesn't scan so I don't know why so what happened here it's asking me to enter activation code and you can see that uh, there should be an activation code which is right here you can see share queue code uh, let me see if I get an activation code right here actually here you can see there are two options so one is QR code and one is manual so I'm just going to go to manual and here looks like activation code right here and that's like a big activation code so there's no way you know I can copy this activation code and enter it manually so what I'm going to do 
I will just like you know copy this and email myself and then I'm just going to email this activation code and see what happens so just give me a few seconds here so what happened I copied the activation code so I'm just going to uh, go to my email here and I'm just going to go to um, the email and get the activation code from my email so let's see if it's going to work okay you can see that I installed the activation code and then I'm just going to hit next and see if it works looks like something is happening here okay looks like it's working so it's asking me download this profile and I'm going to click on yes you can see that it's going to take a few seconds it's installing so definitely it looks like to me it's working so we'll just wait um, I'm not sure why the camera didn't work uh, that part uh, you know it doesn't make sense to me because this is a very nice webcam but you know I wouldn't worry about that for now so okay it can it says that new profile is ready so close this one and so what else to do here I have a good feeling that we are done here because you can see that there's air alloy it shows right here and you know uh, now when I click on it it's giving me an option to use edit name or delete so let's click on use and see what happens okay this will use cellular data from your plan and may incur charges this is just a standard message and I'm just going to hit uh, yes and looks like you know my cellular cellular plan or eSIM plan is on so I'm just going to go back to cellular and see what's happening here so one thing you need to do here uh, turn this on here you can see the cellular data is off so I'm just going to turn this on and here use the sim for cellular data is eSIM and here you can get option if you are, if you have like in you know, a physical sim that you have to choose the physical sim so I'm just going to go to eSIM and no data connection uh, this is because you know I have to turn off roaming uh, you can see that you know it says do not roam so this is something when you're installing uh, eSIM or sim you have to just click on roaming then when you should be using cellular data I'm just going to choose always because we are just testing so just go to always so what it's going to do it should disconnect from Wi-Fi which I'm right uh, currently connected to and it should start using my SIM card or eSIM now here you can see that it says ARLO roaming so I have a good feeling that you know uh, we are using SIM card right now I'm just going to click on the wireless option right here and see what happens so it looks like here still I have uh, wireless on I'm just going to turn it off right here although I'm not sure why I didn't do it automatically but here you can see that you know here hello LTE so that means right now the laptop is connected and it's roaming so now the next part is going to be we're going to test you know uh, if uh, this is really using air hello so I'm just going to go internet test and see how it works so let's test uh, internet speed and uh, see how it uh, works so I'm uh, looking at speedtest.net and we're just going to like you know click and see uh, what is what type of speed we get so let's hit go and it will give us the speed and you can see that here it shows uh, air hello right there uh, internet access so you can you can tell that this is not using Wi-Fi so we are using the uh, eSIM card and this is the download speed uh, 22 Mbps looks like that's going to be it but let's just wait a little bit and now we're getting the upload speed and let's see what we get and five four looks like it's not that great but still it's okay uh, you know I didn't expect that much okay so we have here uh, 5.01 okay so we're getting download speed 23 and upload speed 5 and also 
Um, I tested on another uh, site, which is the fast.com, and here I'm kind of getting very similar. You can see that 19 Mbps and uh, 5 Mbps. They, so it looks like, you know, in Canada, if you're using eSIM, it's going to be around that range. Uh, here, 23.5, and here we're getting 19 and 5. So it's not going to give you like, you know, uh, super fast speed, but it's just, uh, this is just fine. It works and uh, this is not uh, bad at all. Uh, another thing to uh, just a good uh, tip of, uh, to remember that if you're traveling, uh, finish installing everything before you leave home. So that way, uh, because you're going to be needing internet connection for uh, uh, on both of your uh, wife uh, tablet or laptop and phone. So if you try to do it once you reach the destination, it's going to be a lot of problem because you're not going to have internet uh, connection right away until you go to the hotel. So my recommendation uh, would be just finish everything when you're at home. So that way when you arrive or when you land, you have everything ready. You don't need to worry about it. And another tip would be is that once you install uh, eSIM, whether on your laptop or phone, you cannot change it. So that's something to remember. So you, you don't, uh, you're not going to get that option to switch from here to here or here to here. So you're going to get stuck with that eSIM uh, on the device. However, you can share your eSIM or your internet from, uh, let's say from your laptop or if you're installing from your phone via a mobile hotspot. And actually uh, the Windows uh, Go uh, laptop or any other uh, you know laptop having a SIM card capability has the access to uh, use internet hotspot. And I just search for uh, here, which is mobile hotspot. And if you do that, you can uh, see that you know it's giving you uh, that option to share your internet with other devices. But I'm, I plan to uh, do another separate video on this in the future. But for today, that was the video. So it's not uh, that difficult. It's easy. And uh, when you are installing like in you know, a physical SIM, is going to be probably much easier. So you have to just like you know insert physical SIM on the slot. I think which is connected uh, somewhere right here, like uh, on this side of the laptop, or it could be on the other side. I haven't checked that yet. Uh, or wh whichever laptop you have. And so when you insert your SIM from your destination country, then you should just uh, you have to just go to the SIM card profile, and then you have to just uh, kind of do the same thing I just did. So it's not that difficult. Anyone can do it. Uh, you can do it too. And hopefully, you know, this video helped you to know uh, and to find the steps. And for more for the next video, I'm going to put a link on the screen and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.